If you add this visually appealing and practical rotating transition effect to your SWOT analysis presentation, it will surely captivate your audience. This effect is fun and very simple to create. Let's create it together. First, let's create a rounded hexagon shape. Since it's not a default shape, we need to combine other shapes to create a rounded hexagon. Insert a rounded rectangle. Duplicate it twice. Rotate the second rectangle by 60 degrees and the third one by 120 degrees. Then select all three rectangles. Under Arrange, choose Align. Align the shapes both horizontally and vertically. The three rectangles should overlap. Adjust the heights of the rectangles to make the edges smooth. Note that this process may need to be repeated several times to achieve a good rounded hexagon effect. Once adjusted, select the shape. Under Shape Format, choose Merge Shapes. Select the Union option. This combines the three shapes into a rounded hexagon. Adjust the angles of the hexagon, then copy it, shrink its size, and place it in the middle of the larger hexagon. The shape is now created. Let's set it aside for now and continue. Next, let's set the background. Insert the image you've prepared, cut it to the clipboard by pressing Ctrl plus X. Right-click, set as the background of the slide, choose Picture or Texture Fill, select Clipboard. This sets the background to the image you've prepared. To give the image more texture, let's add a gradient mask. Insert a rectangle, set it as a gradient fill. By default, it has four stops. Remove the middle two stops. Set the angle to zero degrees. Choose black for both stops, 100% transparency on the left and 40% on the right. Set it to no outline. This completes our background. The third step is to create the rotating shapes. Copy the rounded hexagon previously created onto the slide. Adjust its size and place it appropriately on the slide. Select both hexagons. Right-click, open format shape. Choose slide background fill and no outline border. Add a shadow to the shape. Apply an outer center shadow. Color it black. Transparency at 10%. Blur at 15 points. Insert a letter. Use the Faken font. Modify its size and position. Choose white color with 10% transparency. Add a shadow effect to the letter. This completes the title. Next, duplicate this slide. Insert the second prepared image. Cut it. Modify the slide background by selecting Picture or Texture Fill, then choose Clipboard. The background is now set. Rotate the rounded hexagons. Rotate the large hexagon counterclockwise by 90 degrees and the small hexagon clockwise by 90 degrees. Modify the letter. Adjust the positioning. Add a morph effect to the second slide. You will see the rounded rectangle rotating in different directions. Select these two slides, duplicate them for the third and fourth slides. Modify their backgrounds as before. Then adjust the letters. Note that we do not need to rotate the shapes again as there is already an angle difference between the pages. Copy and paste the text prepared in advance onto each page. These texts are made up of text boxes and are very simple. Just add the corresponding text to each page. Finally, add a morph effect to the last three pages. Click on Preview. This completes the creation of an attractive and practical rotating transition effect. I am Dream. If you like this effect, please try it out yourself. Feel free to subscribe to my channel.